In my last episode in this series, I talked about how I experience positive and negative feelings. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest you watch it first. You'll find the link to it below this video. In this episode, I want to talk about how my body reacts to my intense emotions. So I'll get started right now. Gifted people are highly emotional. We feel emotions so strongly, our bodies mirror the emotions, and our feelings are often expressed as bodily symptoms. How do I experience this? Well, I'll tell you by giving you six examples. Firstly, in March 2019, I had organized the annual school talent show for the first time. I was suddenly covered in so much work, I felt exhausted after only an hour. Just thinking about all the work I had to do and the high expectations which came with it left me feeling very stressed and flustered. In fact, I felt so stressed and flustered, I gave myself a severe cold, a runny nose, a cough, you name it and I had it. Alas, I had ignored it though and continued working as the show had to go on. Secondly, I'm so scared to fly, it's horrible. I do it though, although I detest it. Two weeks before I know I have to step foot on an airplane, my stomach starts to tense. And when that dreadful day comes when an airplane is gonna take off with me on board, I continuously pass gas before boarding. Yeah, I know, it's disgusting, but it's true. The prospect of having to fly fills me with so much dread, my body develops diarrhea and I have to run to the restroom every 15 minutes. Thirdly, when I was 20, I had my second severe depression. I was depressed because my dancing career was ruined due to my overburdened knees. I had no idea what to do with my life. Long story short, I was heavily depressed and to make matters worse, postules invaded my forehead. My forehead was covered with them and it looked awful. Fourthly, I don't worry that much about stuff anymore, but I used to. I was great at worrying about things just a couple of years back. I was so great at brooding over stuff, it gave me a terrible headache. You know that pounding headache which an aspirin is unable to chase away? It was more than unpleasant. Fifthly, I'm great at getting nervous about little things I have to do at work. Whenever I have to do something new, I get so nervous about it, I get nauseous. Finally, I want to end on a happy note by saying that I can easily cry happy tears. For instance, I cried during the entire last episode of Orange is the New Black cause it was beautiful. And when I listen to poignant music, I weep. Last Saturday, for example, I listened to Last Night of the World from Miss Saigon, sung by Peter Jörbach and May Ann Dionisio, and it was so moving, tears cascaded from my eyes. In a world where nothing can last. God, I love that song. In my coming videos, I'm gonna stay with this topic as there is so much left to say about it. And please, if you've had similar experiences, feel free to share them with me in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch this series from the start. Next Friday, I'll be back with more Swedish pronunciation training. Till then, I only want to say three things. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and bye for now.